Hello and good afternoon. I'm here talking with Doug Kennedy, president of the Kennedy Training Network, as well as Kathy Cook, executive director of training and development at the Kennedy Training Network. Thank you both so much for your time today. Thank you, Jeremiah. We appreciate you reaching out for the interview. Sure. Now, Doug, you're about to celebrate your 30th year in the hospitality industry as a trainer. Congratulations. So, uh, let's see, 20, 20, 19 more days from today completes 30 years. And Kathy, could you tell us a little bit about your background and what brought you to work at the Kennedy Training Network? Sure. Thank you, Jeremiah. Actually, I have an admission to make. Doug Kennedy here is my husband. He convinced me to come and work for him after four years of begging me to come and work for him. I came here. I've been here for about a year and a half. And I came from the hospitality industry, working 35 years in the industry, 27 of them at Marriott International. And I worked for six different Marriott's around the country, but 19 of those years I worked at Marriott headquarters, managing the front office systems and reservation systems. But I have a passion for hospitality, and that, that's why I helped Mr. Kennedy create these principles of hospitality for the Heart of Hospitality program that we're going to talk about today. Great. So can you tell us a little bit about that program? What's it like? How is it laid out? Sure. It's an online training program, and there's three parts to the program. The first part is a private webinar that I conduct, and that webinar is an hour long. The second part is an assessment, and the, the webinar is very engaging, participative, and highly engaged, and, and I have, they have a lot of fun on the webinar with me. They learn the five principles of hospitality. And then after that, the second part is an assessment. It's 15 questions. It takes about 20 minutes to complete. Those questions are an assessment that is, includes true and false, multiple choice, matching questions, and essay questions. They can take that assessment as many times as possible, retake it, but they have to get an 85% or higher to pass it. And then the third part, the third part is actually a blend, as you can kind of see here, it blends both a live element as well as a remote element. So it is all done remote, but the first part being a webinar is live. You know, we didn't want to just have a passive online class where you read the slide and click next and, and all that. So Kathy and also Michelle from our team, backs her up, presents it live, one-on-one -on -one with the webcam. You can't hide. <laughs> you have to actually engage and then the assessment, she grades the essay questions personally. The third step um, is actually a live role play that the, that the candidate, the CHH candidate, does in their lobby. So they get their friend or coworker to record them on a camera phone uh, with just some short skits that Kathy sends. And, and then, I have a lot of fun doing that. And then those go to Kathy, and she grades them and uh, gives some feedback. And most of them pass. Sometimes they have to do some redos. And, uh, and then they get certified, and they get the PIN, the certification, and they become certified in the heart of hospitality. Oh, that's great. And can you tell us a little bit about the backstory? You know, why did you put together this program the way you did? Well, it's interesting backstory. So as full disclosure here, Kathy is my wife. We actually met in 2002. She, we have a great how you met story. She read, she wrote me reader commentary mail on one of my monthly training articles about hospitality. So this email bounced back and forth because Kathy is very, very passionate about hospitality. And then a few months later, I wrote another article and she wrote me again. And it was all very professional until I kind of became interested. And one day I said, um, do you have a picture? And uh, my second question was, when I saw the picture, do you have a boyfriend? So the first answer was, yes, I have a picture. And no, I don't have a boyfriend. Um, but so we really share in our relationship for many years a passion for hospitality she came up through the front office. She has a lot more operational background than me. And I had wanted to launch something like this for years, Jeremiah, but I just didn't have the right person. So for four years, I begged and pleaded. And, uh, you know, I can't offer the same benefits as Marriott, but uh, we have a lot of fun. And so Kathy helped me uh, develop this. And we, you want to explain about uh, how we came up with the, the five pillars in the hand and, and how that represents holding the heart of hospitality. Sure. The five pillars are, well, the first one is uh, the proper check-in, the greeting the guests properly. The second one is telephone hospitality excellence. And the third one is know your product and give out extra information at the front desk. Anticipate. Anticipate. Proactive. Right. And then 
solving guest complaints, mm. welcoming the guest complaints, and then a fond farewell at departure. So those five represent the hand of heart, and that's where it reaches out to the heart of hospitality. And that's why we name it the Heart of Hospitality Program. Well, that's great. So what are some of the biggest problems that, Doug, you've encountered over your past 30 years when working with hotels to improve their customer satisfaction and revenues? And how did you solve those problems in this program? Well, this program, is, by the way, just completed its soft launch stage. We got about our first hundred under our belts, and then we're going full launch. We just had 170 sign up um, in the last few days. In the last two weeks, we signed up 170. So it's really exploding now, and we believe that a lot of people recognize, as we do, the importance of front desk. Again, um, you know, we share this passion for hospitality, and we know every department is important. We may expand this for other departments, but the front desk is unique. You know, and, and so I know Kathy's passionate about that. You know, if the guest has a positive guest experience, and that's one thing that hasn't changed in 30 years, the mm -hmm. front desk sets the pace, the tone for the whole, the whole experience. And, you know, a guest is much more forgiving. I can tell you many times we've had clients that have the top TripAdvisor ranking, but they're not the newest hotel. They're not the shiniest new toy. They have the heart of hospitality. And if things go well, and that guest goes to their room, and something bad happens, okay? You know, a lot of, uh, during a long stay, something is gonna happen. You know, an ant crawls across the balcony. If the front desk experience was good, they call down and say, oh, sorry to bother you, there's an ant on the balcony. If the front desk experience was bad, they're gonna call you up and say, this room, it's infested with insects. You know, so that's why I think the impact that people are recognizing and signing up for this program um, as it as it gains momentum is they know how important the front desk is. Well, what's really important is there are five basic principle, principles that we're, we're learning and we're, we're teaching them. And the thing is, it's important to be aware that they're basic, mm -hmm. but you need to take it from one level to the next. You need to be exceptional at what you do, and you need to be performing these principles every day, all the time, and Take it from being a good, so take them, take you from being a good front desk clerk to a great front desk clerk. So how does this program support them so that they can do just that? Great question. So once they become certified in these five essentials, most of it they've heard before, it's up then to the managers. Now we have a leadership kickoff webinar that we do, which, which is included in the package, which is usually for the top three managers. So. If it's a focused service hotel, a Hampton Inn, a Courtyard Marriott, a Comfort Inn, that would be the GM, the guest services manager, maybe um, you know, a front office, front office manager. Um, if it's a larger operation, maybe that's the director of front office or the rooms manager. But we cover the three M's of hospitality and leadership. You want to speak briefly about uh, the three M's? Sure. The, we want the, man the manager, the management team, or leadership team to model model the behaviors that we teach and then to mentor and coach their, their team, and then to measure their team. We have an assessment form that they can fill out and they can, what, they can basically use their MOD or their supervisors and in the lobby, watch their associates and, and give them feedback, whether they're doing, performing the, the pillars of hospitality in, in a positive way or a negative way and coach them. Okay. Give them positive feedback or negative feedback if necessary. And, you know, going back to the measurement, hospitality is really tough to measure. When we teach hotel sales, catering sales, re even reservation selling, you can measure how many bookings you get, how many room nights you sold, how many groups you brought in. Hospitality is a little more slippery. You can look at reviews. You know, a lot of guests do post, I'm sorry, a lot of hotels do post-departure guest surveys. So you can look at the end result. But we really want to bring back that leader to mentoring them. You know, we both had mentors coming up. Kathy talks about her mentors so often. I talk about my mentors, many of them, that gave us that hand up, that, that took a green young person or a green new person, maybe that's not so young but new to the business. And that's what that mentor is about. But Kathy actually came up with a form that we use 
Um, now we, it's our own form, but we copied this from, you know, best practices of a lot of industries, uh, including some of the work she had done for some of the Marriott brands over the years. And so it's actually a form that, you know, the uh, standards, uh, the upholder of the standards, the leader, whoever that is, he or she sits in the lobby and checks off. Did you greet the guests? Did you ask about how was their trip in? Did you make a personal connection or did you go through the, you know, robotic script approach? Hmm. A lot of support. And finally, for anybody who wants to get their front desk certified in the heart of hospitality so they can start enjoying greater guest satisfaction, set that tone for their hotels, like you said, provide leadership for their associates and, and grow their revenues. What are the steps? Can you walk me through that? Absolutely. And Jeremiah, thank you for offering to put up our website. Visit our website, kennedytrainingnetwork.com. There is a drop down page under services for front desk certification. Send us a link that explains the details, also the pricing, which we think is surprisingly affordable. Um, we wanted to set a price out there that is affordable for any hotel, regardless of ADR. Um, so every hotel can afford this. And then once you click over a note, let us know, we send you the invoice, and then Kathy sends you an online scheduling tool. Um, you wanna speak briefly about that, how they schedule each person? Sure, it's a link called Calendly. And as soon as you look, click on that link, you'll be able to schedule your candidate through that link. You'll get a, a get a date, and you can select a time, and boom, your count your candidate is scheduled with me. And then I follow up with your candidate after they take the webinar to make sure that they've completed their assessments. If they haven't completed their assessments within a week, and then after they complete their assessments, I also follow up with them to make sure they complete their videos within a week. So every week I send them reminders. Yeah. It's kind of self-managing from there. I hope people reach out. We're glad to give you more details. If you have a bigger enterprise, we can talk about how we've rolled it out for larger companies, or we're doing that right now. But um, thank you again, Jeremiah, for reaching out uh, this interview so we can get the word out on this exciting program. Excellent. Thank you so much, Doug, for your time. And Kathy, it's a, it's a pleasure finally meeting you. Thank you. Nice meeting you too. Bye, everybody. Thank you.